Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we're going to learn C program to check whether the entered number is a palindrome or not. So a number is said to be a palindrome if the reverse of the same is equal to the same number. Let's take for example, the reverse of 356 is 6, 5 and 3. So these two are not equal, so this is not a palindrome. Let's take another example, 121. So if you reverse this 121, you'll again get 121. So this is said to be a palindrome. So now we are going to write logic or C program to check whether the entered number is a palindrome or not, right? So the logic will remain same as mostly the previous program that we learned, uh, program 16, where we saw to print reverse of a given number. So here I'm going to explain from the beginning once again, and let's get started and let's see this. So now, Let's see the logic. So first let's take the input number as n and I'm going to store this input number n which is 2 to 6 into a variable m. So now m value will have 2 to 6. But when you do modulo 10, so modulo 10 will give the reminder. So 2 to 6 modulo 10 will give you 6 which is a reminder. Now after that, once I get the last value, I don't need this anymore. So to remove this, I'm going to use 2 to 6 by 10, which is equal to 25. Since these two are integers, so 2 to 6 divided by 10 will round off to 25. Now this, we will take it as m value. So we need to get individual digits. That's our first initial target. Now once I get 25, so I will continue this process once again. Now, now if you see here, so this is a reverse and reverse I initialize to zero. I'm multiplying with 10 plus this reminder. So I will show this logic once again. So reverse I initialize to zero into 10 plus this reminder. So I get six. I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Now let's see the next step by taking 25. Now 25 will be the M value. So now again M modulo 10, which is reminder five. And now again, I have got this five. Now I need to remove five. For that, I'm doing 25 by 10, which is two now. Now again, so now initial reverse value is 10, zero. Now the reverse value is six. Now I will do the same step now, six into 10 plus five. So now say this, I'm doing six into 10. So reverse is six into 10 plus five, I get 65. Now I will continue the same process. Now with two will become M value here. So let's say this now. So now this is the last process. So M is equal to two and modulo 10. So two modulo 10, we get two. And again, we divide two with 10, so that becomes zero. So that's it, we can stop here. And let's see how reverse will work. So now reverse value is 65 previously. Now 65 into 10 plus this reminder two, and that becomes 652. Now you can notice one thing that the value of m is 256 and the value of reverse is 652. So we can stop here because the value of m now reached zero, so you don't have to continue next step. So I'm going to explain the same process that we have seen here in the presentation in the code, and we'll try to understand it more clearly. So as always, you can write the code that I'm going to write now. Either you can do it in Turbos Editor, Dev C++ Editor, or Visual Studio Community Edition, or any other editor like CodeLite, or any other editor you can write it. Now let's get started, and let's see this. The first step is include stdio.h, and then include conio.h. Void, and here I used to write here author, that's my name, Meghnath, and then I'm going to put my email ID for your suggestions and feedback. So, and then purpose of this program is, the purpose of this program is to read a number and check if it is palindrome or not, right? Now let's start with the program. So void main is the place where program execution starts. And I always used to write here, the first thing is variable declaration. And the next one is read uh, data from user and the actual logic. Now let's say this, variable declaration. So we need to know what are the variables that we need. First, int n value, that's the value that we read from the user. M value for taking the backup. And we need uh, to use, we need a reminder, right? So reminder 
and we also need re uh, reverse of the number so I'm going to put reverse is equal to 0 okay now what we have to do is okay we declared these variables and we'll say if we need any other variables we'll add it later and now let's get started read the value from the user so printf enter any number then I'm going to write here scanf and I'm going to write here percent d comma ampersand yen okay so we read the we will read the value from the user and we are done with this now what we need to write the logic now so take a backup of yum n to yum and then while yum greater than zero so so we have to in the previous presentation that we have seen so you can see here that we need to continue this process this 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 process we need to continue until this value m value reaches zero so while m value greater than zero the first step is we need to get the reminder reminder is equal to m modulo 10 and and now let's do this so let's go back to visual studio and i need to write here reminder is equal to m modulo 10 and once you get the last value remove that using m is equal to m by 10 right now what you have to do now you have to do this right step so reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus reminder so now what I have to do here is so I need to write here reverse is equal to reverse star 10 plus reminder that's it now this process will continue three times so first m value will be 2 to 6 and then m value 25 and then m value 2 and then m value 0 that will stop now that's it we are done so now what we have to do is we need to check if if n is equal to if n value is equal to reverse we need to print printf person d is a palindrome and in case of person d i need to print the value of n and else printf printf person d is not a palindrome so now I just need to print n value here that's it so last we need to add get ch let's add this get ch and and now we are done with the program and let's compile this let's see if we get any errors and fix it now I'm going to execute this now you can see here it's asking me to enter the number and let's take 356 which is not a palindrome so 356 is not a palindrome so let's run this once again and this time I'm going to enter a palindrome 1331 so this is a palindrome now you can see here it's a palindrome so the logic is working fine and I hope you are clear with this explanation and feel free to add your comments in the comment section and do remember to subscribe for more videos thanks for watching and do share with your friends as well thank you and have a great day